Welcome to Unfiltered Coffee Time with Deepa. Well, today I have with me Dr. Prashant Nair. Now, Prashant Nair, there's so many things that I have to talk about. Well, he's an orthodontist, he's a radio jockey, he's a TV host, he is a martial artist, and he's also uh, had his name in Limka Book of Records. My God, this is not very simple. And more... To add to that, he is a very good artist now. He has worked with almost all the big names in the industry like Ajit, then we can say Vijay, Mohanlal sir and so many names. Well, I would like to introduce him as a multi-talented yet very simple, grounded and I, I would say he's a big achiever also. Welcome to Unfiltered Coffee with Deepa. Thank you. Honored to be on the show. I remember one of the leading director was upset with me because I walked out of a movie. Who was it? It was Mission Kashmir, I think. They wanted me to play a Kashmiri, Kashmira. Kashmiri terrorist. There is no lines and dialogue, nothing. And they'll throw some bomb at me and boom. And I said, no, I don't want such roles. Even Who was the director? Joshi sir. <laughs> but after that, he's never given me a role. See, in Malayalam, if you play a villain, they'll make you look like a very cheap third rate. I mean, the earlier movies I'm saying. with Lalitan he was shooting i think last year for Barros so i had gone to meet him and i wanted to give a sketch which i had done of his then he would come and punch me in between and go uh-huh. then he'll say chumma then he would extend my scene that gradually that martial arts vibing here in the like martial arts vibing <laughs> right. so dr prashant i when i was going through all your you know write ups and everything that i could collect about you ende ponni adu enduva what have you done because when i knew about your profession yes it was orthodontist by profession but definitely by passion you are an actor because you are and you have already touched lot of big names also can you tell me about the journey that you did from that medical field to this acting now and i i'm sure it's going to be a long journey we are really excited to know about it uh let me put it this way like what you said orthodontic is my profession because i was born in a family of doctors most of the people in my family are doctors uh, regarding acting what happened is when i was in high school uh, i used to study in dubai and i used to be a very very obese kid so my mom had some health issues and my dad decided to put me in rajagiri high school out here kalamishiri and there they had this particular program called literary meeting where everybody has to take part in stage mm-hmm. so me being a shy guy i would try to you know uh, it was run by priests and all that so i would say acho please ne udwa ke taran but he said no everybody has to you need to get rid of your stage fright so they put me in a cartoon um, animated type of character called laurel and hardy the fat yeah, guy and yeah, thin I, guy I, yeah yeah you must have yes, seen yes, the slapstick yes, comedy yes. so i was decked up like that and i was nervous wreck right, because i thought i'll forget the lines what happened is when i got on stage i slipped i fell with my face flat on the ground oh and the minute i was on the ground i said should i cry or should i i do not know how to react yes Suddenly, definitely everybody started getting up and clapping they thought it was a part of the act uh. i won first prize okay and i became an overnight uh, like you said sensation sensation oh this guy is good he's fat but so talented look at that after that, that all the characters it was a natural fall <laughs> it was a natural fall and by default all the fat characters santa claus and this and everything used to everything come to you everything used to come to me so after that i've never looked back into uh stardom by accident by chance stardom but uh, <laughs> it was definitely because till then people used to and those days you know body shaming used to be very mm, common yes everywhere <sighs> but after that everybody had great respect for me then when i came back to med school and dental school uh, there was heavy ragging going on especially among malayali students and all they would hit and they would but if you take part in some stage program there was a big meeting where did you do your medicine from uh, manipal college of dental surgery manipal okay so if you take part in the stage program they would let you off Okay. So I volunteered and they we cooked up a movie based skit which turned out to be a big hit. I would imitate stars and ah. things. So that's the first time I realized that I could do something. Okay. And that became popular then it became a routine thing. 
even the other uh, what do you call we have medicine dentistry pharmacology so they would call me to act in their skits and plays and all that and i would always do something funny on stage which became a trademark so when i tell uh, people that i recently attended a reunion alumni in delhi so they said it's no wonder you were always you were the okay. one who wanted to finish paper first so that you wouldn't miss the first part of a movie <laughs> i said yeah i did they remember that they remember wow. that and there were times when i would jump on to the you know classroom Even and the teachers when i'm talking to you so filmy i'm very filmy you're trying to find out mo- motivation from films you're trying to i, I relate everything to films I think you were uh, dreaming and visualizing it even b- before you knew about anything like this right I take inspiration from movies I think it's something to do with that uh, wherever you go people recognize you and uh, I find that now I mean even though I'm not recognized as a star people say sir ne evdiyo kandain kariyam I said oh, yeah, yeah that's a quite familiar phase also yes so, that you feel that like that that gets you a connectivity wherever yes, you go yes you have this beautiful smile that you first Thank place you and so then much. rest everything is they see okay, beauty lies in lies of the beholder no it is somewhere there on your face I also i wouldn't be surprised if somebody <laughs> passes a comment beauty and the beast in the you know comment <laughs> no, section no 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 it is not going to be i mean once they go through your whole thing it'll be a treat for them don't worry and i would also want to ask you when you were in this medical industry in medical industry la irna pa thane i definitely i can feel that you were not very happy there maybe because the major portion of your mind and body is somewhere else right actually uh, the thing is uh, there were some subjects and the teachers used to be so good and pharmacology if nobody finds me anywhere i'll be in the pharmacology department why they had lot of pets see now uh, you know doing injections on guinea pig and hamster and all but i used to go feed them rabbit so all the professors there were familiar with me so i would listen to their discussion so that i get access to their zoo like mm-hmm. thing i ended up picking up lot of that subject i ended up topping actually in some of that subjects and all that so the subjects that i liked i really liked and i would always find a easier shortcut method to do get the same result so it was okay i wouldn't say i had good batchmates the some, the teachers were good except for one teacher i think rest all of them were, i got along well and, and they would always say where is the hero prashant who is always in the movies because i would always joke with them yes not a problematic student out beyond time work will be complete but very filmy yeah you will complete your work before and then go for films yeah wonderful so today is a very special day for you and you've just come out of neer right That's you right. watched the first yeah, uh, first, first, first show. show how was it amazing movie jitu sir lal sir siddiq sir all of them did an amazing job expected out of jitu sir yeah. anyways yes and i was glad to be a part of it yes. really and the main thing what i learned from this working with this people is how jitu sir is able to get the best out of people he doesn't intimidate anybody he'll first let you do your way and then he'll modify it to his requirement and it turns out to be a good scene very natural and how was your experience working with all these big names I have yani ottri vere kettirund etra naal cinemail ninnittu vare ingenatha perugalde adukke polum povan pattathilla and you have actually worked with almost all the big names right you yeah. talk about ajit vijay and mohanlal mohanlal sir is like you are always with him i definitely want to know about how this whole chemistry works with all these people actually with lalitan he was shooting i think last year for baros so i had gone to meet him and i wanted to give a sketch which i had done of his you went there to yeah i went to, to the studio i said uh-huh. i just want to meet huh then he said you need to wait and i said okay i'll wait because people told me he's there for a month shooting so i went there and um, then he said and uh, you wanted to meet me or give me something what is it so i said i wanted to give you the sketch can i have your number then he was a bit taken back he said number of uh-huh. then he said sir i'm your fan and you know okay number and that's really mono ro chiri role cheyunnu nu she asked me he said can you do a small role i said yeah anything just tell me then in between the shoot he would come and ask me he said i heard you are into martial arts you did this then he shared his video of uh, 
his daughter practicing martial arts, which was amazing. Then he would come and punch me in between and go. Uh-huh. Then he'll say, Chumma. And then he would extend my scene that gradually. That martial arts vibing here. Martial arts vibing. Martial arts vibing. And uh, he was fun, really fun. So over a month, he got to know me. He would ask Bhashan Gaisha, he would come and wish everybody. So that bonding was, uh, I think, uh, uh, we refreshed that thing when we were shooting for Nehru and all that. And nobody is there, he'll say, come, let's practice something. Show yeah, me. I recently saw that uh, Facebook post also where you were practicing with him. How is He's it all possible? He's got amazing energy. He told me that on the night before, he have, was clicking pictures with 6,000 odd people and, you know, meeting. But his energy and if he wants to learn something, we were discussing on Tai Chi and things. So I had casually mentioned, this is what my teacher taught me. It's one of the essence of Tai Chi. If you practice that breathing exercise, wherever you go, people will find you pleasing. Okay. So the teacher said it's mainly used, uh, if you notice, many of the saints have that very relaxed, Correct. Calm you and go normal. Yeah. trying to pick up a fight and you'll end up, we should I fight this person? They'll, they'll smile. And, so they taught me a breathing technique. So Lalitan wanted to know more about it. Then he showed me something what he had learned from the Tibetan. He was shooting in Leh mm-hmm. recently, then earlier, I think, for Yoda in Nepal. Then that conversation went from half an hour to two and a half hours. Then he said, you have breakfast with me. So we ended up practicing quite a lot and I showed him my way of teaching myself. So he was happy that I won this tournament world championship and, you know, came second. Mm-hmm. So he said, it's quite inspiring. So when I'm going through your details, any kind of care in Tony that um, you have a lot of things in your kitty, like you've done so much, right? academic wise like you were always good and you did well there maybe because you your family wanted it while, while we were conversing but uh, I mean how come you get the determination to reach because most of the people are really starters auricular finisher owl and people say that you know if you focus on a lot of things you won't be able to achieve anything so how do you really you know maintain and focus on everything that is what you want to do right everything so yeah definitely even i like that but can you just tell me more about it see actually you're talented at many things i'm not talented at all i'll just Look keep doing you. it this is what the, the, i mean the no. best part about you the conversation that we had you're so grounded ഇത്രയും ഗ്രൗണ്ടഡ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഒരു ഇത്രയും കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്തിട്ട് യു ലൈക്ക് ആസ് എഫ് നോ നോ ഐ എം ജസ്റ്റ് നത്തിങ് ശരിക്കും ഒന്നുമില്ല സത്യം പറയാലോ യു നോ ദ പെർസിസ്റ്റൻസ് എൻ്റെ ഫിലോസഫി അതെ ഇഫ് യു കാൺ ബി ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ബി ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് ഫ്രം ദ റെസ്റ്റ് അതാണോ അത് ഞാൻ ട്രൈ ചെയ്ത് നോക്കുക അപ്പോൾ അത് ട്രൈ ചെയ്ത് നോക്കുമ്പോൾ അതിനെപ്പറ്റി ഭയങ്കരമായിട്ട് പഠിക്കും വായിച്ചും ഇതും പക്ഷേ അത്ര പെർഫെക്റ്റ് ആയിട്ട് എനിക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല ലെറ്റ് മീ സി എനിക്ക് ഒരു ഷോർട്ട് കട്ട് മെത്തേഡ് എൻ്റെ വോട്ട് ഈസ് അപ്ലിക്കബിൾ ഫോർ മീ ഇപ്പോൾ നമ്മൾ ചിലവർ Uh, driving license etra na load sit and driving kitla but it's not that complicated no yeah once you learn it then you don't even think about driving hey yan samsarichu stalu etti kaynu nu parayum mm adhe maari thana i'll keep on doing things orikkilum give up illa but i'm not talented so i'll keep trying appo the failure ayalum enikku korpu illa because you are never talented in the first place end kittelum bonus so i'll keep trying appo yan nokki palarkum success kittada they don't explore they stick in their comfort zone eniki venda ayyo njan avarude mumbil compete cheyyan njan thootu poyalo njan thookku nu paranjittu compete cheyumba pettana jeyikumbo oye kollala yeah that's nice feeling so yes. it's a different thing and i appreciate i mean i try to learn things from your point of view earlier i used to have that my way or the highway yeah then i realized that everybody is their own individual and korchum kodi the philosophical attitude i think started getting better Mm-hmm. And when did you start with your martial arts training? Martial arts is very important. I have been exposed to martial arts, but I have never taken it as a serious item. Um, it started with Kalari. Then in Dubai, I was in Dubai. I was in the Karate. In a medical college, there was an Arabic guy trained in an art called Ninjitsu. Uh, okay. They were in Japan. They were this black outfit. Mm-hmm. He taught me many concepts of martial arts. But I had a scholarship in the US. Our college had uh, Aikido. 
നമ്മുടെ കോളേജ് ക്യാമ്പസിൽ തന്നെ സോ ഐ യൂസ് ടു പ്രാക്ടീസ് വിത്ത് ദം അപ്പോൾ ഫിലിപ്പ് സെറീലി എന്നുള്ളൊരു ആ ഒരു ഓത്തറായിട്ട് ഐ ഗോട്ട് ടു ഇൻട്രാക്ട് അപ്പോൾ ഹി ഹാഡ് റിട്ടൺ എ ബുക്ക് ഓൺ കളറി പൈറ്റ് കോൾ വെൻ ദ ബോഡി ബിക്കംസ് ഐസ് മേ കണ്ണാവുക ലൈക്ക് ഇഫ് യു പ്രാക്ടീസ് എ ലോട്ട് ഈച്ച് പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് യുവർ ബോഡി ക്യാൻ സെൻസ് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇൻ ദ സറൗണ്ടിങ്സ് ദറ്റ് ഇസ് വോട്ട് ഇൻ മീൻസ് അപ്പോൾ എന്നോട് പറഞ്ഞു നോ ബഡി ഈസ് റീഡിങ് മൈ ബുക്ക് മേ ബി ബിക്കോസ് യു ഹാവ് എ നായർ സർ നെയ് മേ ബി സംബഡി ഇഫ് യു റിവ്യൂ ഇറ്റ് ഐ റിവ്യൂഡ് ഇറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ബുക്ക് sales went up very high uh-huh. so all his questions he nice. started diverting to me he said now you answer all the questions i am done with it so why did he pick up that nayar sir name he said because uh, he is a white philip uh-huh. zareel is a white nobody is believing him uh-huh. when he writes a book on color okay basically he was lo- uh, maybe pointing out to india india yeah so he said you have that nayar that you know <laughs> somebody will believe color so to study that i started contacting all the teachers li- written in his book so eat some teachers i vibe very well then when i get them gifts and all they'll say what do you want or not i said teach me something that you do not teach in the normal class so i ended up with a collection of things which gives me an edge over a average person mm mm-hmm. so i might know something which will give an edge over the opponent so over a period of many years i have accumulated so much knowledge i'm not boasting about it but the teachers have blessed me with that even in dubai when i was practicing in private clinic i would not take money from martial artists instead i would ask him teach me something that is valuable and that you do not teach a normal person mm mm-hmm. so so that gives gives me an edge and i am able to somehow survive in all these tough competitions and you also spend some good time in us right yeah almost two and a half three years and i got my green card in six months alien with exceptional ability under that category what was that all about uh, i had published a paper which was published in an index scientific journal and i had a series of paper publication so the college itself recommended my name for a green card but then i kept postponing it like you know to take a citizenship after the fourth time they said you need to be an american citizen then i said no i don't want to do you hear one day Ma- matram in the <laughs> yes, background yes <laughs> no it was film i would have told them you know at that line yeah but i india i mean i started liking india more after working in us mm. but people told me that it's maybe because you were in oklahoma which is a kind of not so popular place no but the, i mean that is not the case sometimes you like your country and you want to be here even it is the same no, with me i started me. appreciating more because in india we had clean ji and arala cookie and driver <laughs> there everything correct even the car oil change i you was giving to the service my neighbor said you're mad giving each time to the service and i will teach you and he taught me how to change car oil change the to car some extent it is good but uh, i think we quite used to this yeah, quite india used thing to it. yes one thing that i did not like in us is see uh, in india once you are a brand name you become your brand wherever you go ha ah, chechi how are you how are you there nobody no cares no visibility no brand you're good in that university in the class yeah. outside the class even the students don't respect you generally yeah that's there they don't care unless you are a baseball star or a basketball that too for that season if you do well otherwise nobody cares so here i think uh, i like that thing i like people wishing me when i go jogging they said hi and i like that stuff while i was going through your data padneju countries and against fight edu and then you got the gold sir. record yes my god for martial arts i'm sure prashant idu oru divasathu pani alla irikkum it would have been years together of determination and hard work and how do how do you really feel that you can take up this pressure and you know this challenge see idilla nammal nokkaneengi ipo let me dissect each part ha i went through some personal issues at life appo ullile oru fight cheyanam nalla oru aagraham undu adey adey evadengil theerkanam evadengil theerkanam and as i told you earlier that i take inspiration from uh-huh. movies appo <laughs> you know i am very <laughs> filmy appo nokki appo how old are you some movie came i said how oh, she started taking up running <laughs> oh my god no seriously appo then my cousin uh, sister's husband dr rakesh he is going for all these marathon parnu let me join you please train me he said i'm happy i'm bored running alone then i started running with him really started with 2 4 5 10 20 40 30 
I became okay. I mean, uh, I would finish 10 kilometers in one hour, which was okay for me. Then 22 kilometers in two hours, 20 minutes or something. Okay. Then 42, then 30. You are run a, a you're running faster than train, I guess. No, no. no? <laughs> it was no. a routine thing. So then came that I need to fight and compete in something. Why? Because Dangal and Sultan came and I said, <laughs> yes, need to Every do Every movie was made for Prashant to get some inspiration out of it. Then my close friends, you know, they are very inspirational, motivation. Then they would tell me all those things. You would get injured. I said, yeah, but uh, I want to go. Then my coach was a former cop and uh, he was also a winner in this tournament. He said, there is a tournament. Uh, you can take part. We have six months of training time. But you will only reach a brown belt level. But we can still try. I said, I want to go badly. And he said, I'll be there with you and all that. We trained very hard. I would train four hours a day. And I would run in the morning, 10 kilometers. Everything went off well. Then he said, have you booked the tickets? Everything done. Then uh, three days before, he said, Prashant, it's your fight, your journey. What am I doing? I said, you're supposed to be there with me. I have no clue on Philippines. He didn't have any confidence or what was it. He, <laughs> that said, he just escaped. Go. He just walked out. Then... Maybe he was stress. considering your age and that is what. And he no, would have Filipinos felt sad. Are, uh, generally, they are very easy. They are very practical. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, what. they have no money now. Why should I go to Philippines now? Tickets are high. Let him go. <laughs> okay. They are like that. But this teacher did make me fight with so many local Filipino champions. And, you know, I got to meet. He I, Initially, I was scared of getting hit. But then got a hit a couple of times. Then... Again, like I said, I was depressed. Again, watched Sultan for the end time, followed by Dangal. And I said, maybe one thing missing in Consciously. this thing. Consciously. Consciously. <laughs> okay. And I said, maybe I should So, which pick is your favorite Indian... uh, part now? Tell me. In that movie, Sultan. Which really, you know, touched you and then that is the thing. Where uh, he says, no, if you can be beaten, it's only by you. and It's not by others. Oh, awesome. Okay, if you think you're beaten, you're beaten. But otherwise, 100%. you just keep going. 100%. Forget the thing. So I had gone to, there is a temple in Dubai and all that. The first time the that Pujari said, well, you're standing outside, come inside. They don't let you go inside. So I said, maybe it's a sign that, you know, something might happen. And I told myself, I'm not going to come so many, so far from my country to get beaten up by some jerk or something. I'm going back with some medal. Forget first or second but I'm not going to give up and I kept telling myself how many of these people have run a marathon you take the you extend the fight tire them out last round you give it your best because I'm fighting with all age groups and all experienced people mm -hmm. so that was my strategy and it did work and how did you feel how did that master of yours felt after that master of yours uh, like you said uh, he was telling everybody I knew it and ah, you know okay. once you're successful <laughs> then, you then everybody knows offense. it okay that's there I'm always reminded of uh, Adolf Hitler's uh, quote in a book he said when it's dark even your shadows leave you yeah so true, true. so powerful very powerful and the area where I fought was very scary because it's a very shady area I think yeah. in Makati Philippines known for drug and, and all these goons practice in these tournaments, you know, they don't care. I did break uh, three fingers and a rib and all that. But uh, at that time, I did not know. But uh, later, I came to know the pain. But yeah. we had a very nice uh, success party of the tournament. And I got to meet their senator and former superstar, one Mansoor Del Rosario. He's acted in one Indian movie with Abhishek, I think called Run, he told me. Oh, yes, Run. Mm. So, got to meet and we keep in touch regularly. Are you still doing it now? Are you practicing yeah, as I in do. not fight, not the fights, but... Not the fights, but uh, I do. Recently, I was invited uh, to Kanu Dental College. Uh, you remember the incident about a uh, doctor, doctor being stabbed? Doctor being stabbed, yes. So, uh, my friend had initiated an awareness campaign. So, I had a question for you, like, you know, uh, so this is one thing that you're doing martial arts and you were a doctor... So, how did you connect these two and get into the self-defense training part? What happened is, uh, once uh, I used to go for martial art practice and my dad would discourage. 
every year you go to india get beaten up by somebody <laughs> or you go to come he said your profession your hands are important i had a patient uh, i think iranian guy big built guy he went into something called as epilepsy you know mm, yeah. you you mm, yeah. start Shivari. and he lost his memory <gasps> so once you once that happens we are trained in the emergency thing where you tilt the chair so that more blood flow grows to the brain and that time his thing came back you know the consciousness came back and he didn't remember somebody is trying to kill me he became very violent he threw things around he tried to stab me but i reacted naturally i controlled him everything happened like so fast by then the cops came and because we are located in a area where there are a lot of money exchanges my reception guy ran down and the cops came and he was shouting it was everything happened so fast and i couldn't believe that this was happening in my clinic when dad everybody then they handcuffed him they took him aside then they asked me what happened i told my version of the story he said the same version but his perception doctor i do not know how i came here he threw me off from the chair he loosened my tie he's trying to steal my oh, tie and all that. okay actually we do that adhe, you know adhe, adhe. then he uh, the police guy you were trying me, to make him feel comfortable yeah, yeah. loosen up the yeah. clothing and make him hold a pen take the pen out adhe, and adhe, hold adhe. something metal 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 and uh, remove his tongue and put But cotton he had his version he had his, he said he tried to choke me with cotton okay. this is to prevent yes, biting the of the biting, tongue yeah. yeah so dad uh, was also very shocked shaken and what did the cop say then cop said uh, that you know because you didn't hurt him he's a big shot arab guy <laughs> and there is no case against you did everything you controlled him it's a good thing and then they told the arab guy you should have carried a epileptic card you know if you are sick you yeah. did you inform the doctor he said no he then they made a shake saved. hands and all that by then there was some 100 200 malayalis all looking lucky there were no mobiles otherwise i would have been in the news <laughs> sensation and then dad said you know all this while i used to tease you for learning martial arts you know getting beaten but today that thing has that lesson so one of my friends knew about the story it was published in a russian systema journal okay because i had used some techniques from there i had just attended a seminar of countering violence in a small confined area and everything what i learned came into use so they had published my article in their journal martial arts journal so, so you, you now you're doing it uh, as a profession training I'm or i'm doing it uh, as a charity giving it back to the society because our if you notice the weak people the women are constantly abused and hurt so, so not just specific to doctors no it be giving it to everyone who needs yeah, it yeah, oh that's so it. nice of you yeah teaching them simpler methods mm-hmm. uh, which is easy to remember because i will use your natural movements to enhance it no need of complicated things uh-huh. i'll teach you concepts which you should remember so when people say you have you fought and all i have fought i have experienced this so i am teaching you a simple way which your body reacts like a muscle memory what about know? your daughter daughter is doing finally a psychology she's a good singer mm yes uh, is she into movies no she's into playback singing and all that yeah stuff. so in movies she's yeah, done she's any she's done uh, she's done playback singing for movies and all that either care no Pendulum I think was one and some Telugu movie which you had mentioned Telugu with that I just remember our conversation that you were really looking forward to get into Telugu movies also appo aden therna inspiration Telugu movies like first of all let me tell you he is all about filmy and he is so do you also are you so colorful in, colorful in your dreams like normal hindi movies and all all yeah eh? a little bit yeah and i think you you are inspired and influenced by the way uh, telugu movies uh, fight scenes and all happen fight and uh, the way they show villain see in malayalam if you play a villain they'll mu- make you look like a very cheap third rate i mean the earlier movies i'm telling they'll Now be a lot the of dialogues and things like they'll make you feel that why the hell did you do that role i remember one of the leading director was upset with me because i walked out of a movie I don't know uh, was Mission Kashmir I think they wanted me to play a Mission Kashmiri Kashmira. Kashmiri terrorist okay is it why should i play a kashmir and there is no lines in dialogue nothing and they'll throw some bomb at me and boom and i said no i don't want such roles 
even though who was the director joshi <laughs> okay but after that he has never given me a role even though we speak uh uh-huh. adeshim yeah. but lucky i didn't do that movie because that movie had lot of hitches i think uh, kashmir land problem there no and it was finished it didn't do well honestly mission kashmir some some name like that. so telugu movies they present the villain as equivalent to the hero bigger the more villain more of heroic yeah thing, bigger yeah? the villain the hero is more powerful mm. you put a small villain hero doesn't look so they present the <laughs> villain as a tycoon walking out of helicopters yes, and private and out of the world and, whatever happens and expensive and, yeah, suits and yes, all that yes and all this amazing aura yeah. is so stylish exactly uh, you you show them to be so powerful they can do everything true yes and i'm i'm sure you'll find a role there don't worry <laughs> huge competition yes. but how old are you that was movie but now i'm asking you how old are I you i'm 52 and have you ever heard that you know people saying that you look like kamalas and or you look like Re- i feel that personally i feel you look like rahman angane arengilum parnittundo rahman no rahman is a good friend also actually he's nice he inspires me some of the roles that so he he's also a good friend of yours yeah. which are those names left in the industry no, you know nothing, he's a friend nothing. of everyone now now that so i met you i have to add one <laughs> yes. more you are ball adikamel yeah adikamel yes so so i have been inspired by him. people do say sunny deol a lot yes and uh, kamla hasan then who else yeah these two sunny deol a lot Definitely. and stalin also sometimes because yeah. stalin and sunny deol have you know i love their movies maybe subconsciously i'm trying to copy them i do not yeah, know yeah maybe maybe <laughs> <laughs> and i want to ask you how was your experience with ajit superb guy he's my Very, favorite actor he's a gem of a person I remember on the day before the shoot uh, they said so wanted to meet you then as soon as he was shooting he was sitting i went which to was that him. movie arambam 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 ha uh-huh. then he got up then i said i got some sweets and all uh, for you i think give it to you i said thank you so much and i had a collectors keychain from ferrari thing original uh-huh. ferrari keychain or something okay. from italy I said this is for your collection I heard that you love car racing then we hit it off well he oh, you was know laughing. how to touch the right thing huh? but I think that naturally came to you maybe that you naturally. try but yeah you you're always see I always believe if I give you something that you collect I eventually get what I want yeah. it has always worked yeah yeah me. that's there because you are a result of what you think and what you are and you don't really become anything else other than what you are if I help you fulfill your yes. dreams so your something your dream will be fulfilled eventually it does correct, come back correct. what goes around comes around yes yes definitely so next in between the shoot i'm mugging up lines he came prashant uh, end up and i said i'm just studying so you know tamil yeah i do i do okay. thanks to thing uh, my sister in law is tamilian actually uh-huh. so but uh, this tamil is like palakkad tamil <laughs> you know how it is no mix of yes so he came he took the paper he said let me read he just tore it he said what nonsense <laughs> let's have fun let's have a conversation in the uh, don't worry i'll give you q you won't mess it up i'll tell you where to look you know the lines what are you keeping studying it won't look natural he gave me a lot of tips so that scene turned out very well and i think 2012 september making of this movie was a highlight this particular scene was a highlight on jr tv Ah, is yeah. it okay? Our conversation, laughing. Uh-huh. In between, he would say, "Let me write my dialogues and let's do it up," and we would do it. And the director loved it. Then it said, "Oh my God, it has political undertones with Jailalita Ji." Uh-huh. That time she was a hey, no, no, no. <laughs> director said, "We." Then I just said, "What are you doing? At my future itself will be gone." Yeah. Then we had a light laugh and all that. It was fun. Then after the shoot, he called me back and he told me about. like how you were telling me earlier on life lessons he told me prashant what are you doctor why do you fall at all these directors feet and why do you go approach them you should be confident that they should come to you he said i've given break to so many directors and when i was in hospital after a car race they all did deserted me even movies which i had finished 80 percent they completed with somebody else who was unknown and released the movie I mean the entire movie was reshot. Yeah. Okay, it can even happen to those big names. Yeah. Imagine. So, so at that time he was not a huge name, he was a popular name. 
then he became big arambam was kind of his comeback movie uh, i have been part of comeback movies for all these people yeah, yeah, vijay yeah. stupaki arambam and i was working vijay. with the, uh, vijay he keeps smiling he keeps smiling he's very shy and reserved but very nice guy very nice to be on screen he doesn't seem to be shy or anything. he's very shy and reserved very sweet guy but have you noticed one thing ye ella velliya actors um if you see them personally avar ellarum oru cheriya introverts thaneyana le see avare adano avare open up avagathayano deliberately anji to open up em gadu bhayangara tamasha if you see sunny dual and bobby dual i met both uh-huh. of them sunny dual is hilarious funny bobby is very serious and shy Dharmendra is funny. Apo How do you meet these people? You're yeah, telling me as if you're meeting them just like that. Anganeka endha paraya I'm just lucky I be at yeah. the right place. At the right Angane time. Anganeka I'll tell you I went uchchekya clinic in the patient appointment cancel cheyappo yan cinema ki poi. Cinema ki poi appo aaru ende meethe popcorn tattitu like algorithm la. Appo nokku njan marnu ningada movie alle evade ennu vechu. It was Dino Moria. Ah and okay. uh, then he called up he said since you recognize me might as well meet my friend no kum bipasha ba okay pashe new zealand they both have broken up <laughs> yes <laughs> and they came to watch uh, i think kalhona way very the sharukan the movie but their movie was also playing there so we had a nice so you're conversation lucky. like meeting right people at the right time angane ne kochi no bombay pomba i didn't get ticket then they said private to do jet and avade seat and but tickets will be high I said, okay, I'll go for that in the business or whatever class. I said, I'll go for that in the Amir Khan. They were going back after Mela and Orange movie. Yes. So we had a nice interaction with Sunil Darshan, uh, Amir Khan. I didn't have to say anything about it. You know why, Prashant? Because you think about movie, you, you enjoy that, you live that. That's the reason you're meeting no, more of these people. It's uh, funny, you know. Uh, 2008, <laughs> I'm just giving you random incidents. ഞാൻ വിസിറ്റിംഗ് പ്രൊഫസറായിട്ട് ജയ്പൂരിലെ ഔറംഗബാദിലൊക്കെ പോയിരുന്നു അന്ന് കോളേജ് റെക്കഗ്നേഷൻ കിട്ടണേന് മുമ്പ് ദേ വിൽ ടേക്ക് വിസിറ്റിംഗ് ഇപ്പോൾ ദേ ആർ വെരി സ്ട്രിക്റ്റ് ദേ വോണ്ട് ദ പ്രൊഫസേഴ്സ് ഫ്രം വിത്തിൻ ദാറ്റ് ഫൈവ് കിലോമീറ്റർ റേഡിയസ് അപ്പം അന്നൊരിക്കെ ഔറംഗബാദിൽ നിന്ന് തിരിച്ചു വരുമ്പോൾ ഹെവി റെയിൻസ് ഇൻ ബോംബെ ഫ്ലൈറ്റ്സ് ഇങ്ങനെ ക്യാൻസൽ ചെയ്ത് ഡിലേ ആയി സ്റ്റക്ക് ആയി എയർപോർട്ടിലും ഇപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ ഡിപ്പാർച്ചർ സെക്ഷൻ അവിടെ അറൈവൽ അപ്പോൾ അവിടെ മഴയത്ത് ഇങ്ങനെ വരുമ്പോൾ അമിതാബ് ബച്ചൻ ജി വരുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ ഇമ്മീഡിയറ്റ്ലി അന്നത്തെ യുനോ ലൈക്ക് ഇൻസ്റ്റാഗ്രാം ഇപ്പോഴല്ലേ പോപ്പുലർ അന്ന് ഫേസ്ബുക്കിൽ ക്രിയേറ്റ് കാച്ചിങ് അപ്പ് വിത്ത് യു അറ്റ് ദ ബോംബെ എയർപോർട്ട് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു ഞാൻ ചുമ്മാ ഒരു പുള്ളിയുടെ വാളില് പോസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്തു ഹോപ്പ് യു റീച്ച് ഹോം സേഫ് റിഗാർഡ്സ് ടു ജയാജി അത് കഴിഞ്ഞപ്പോൾ ഒരു ടൺസ് ഓഫ് ഡയറക്ടേഴ്സ് സെൻഡ് മീ എ ഫ്രണ്ട് റിക്വസ്റ്റ് മിതും ഡിഡ് ഐ ലൈക്ക് നോ വട്ട് ഐ വോണ്ടഡ് ഐ കൺ വെയിറ്റ് ഓൺ ഫേസ്ബുക്ക് ബട്ട് പീപ്പിൾ പ്രസ്യൂം ദാറ്റ് ഐ എം വാസ് വെരി ക്ലോസ് വിത്ത് ഹിം ആൻഡ് so that was But got that me was connected the presence with of my indias good one so i'm just opening out yeah. all spilling the beans yes, to yes. all these things on your life show. lessons wonderful